In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create amazing animations using Animate Diff. I will guide you through the installation process and share my settings along with useful tips and tricks so you can get really good results. To work with Animate Diff, you first need to install either Automatic 11.11 or Comfy UI. If you've seen my previous video, you probably know that I'm starting to like Comfy UI more, so I'll be using that in this video. To get started, you will want to check this amazing guide created by Inner Reflections on Civitai. I will leave a link to the guide below. And by the way, I've had a really interesting conversation with Inner Reflections himself, so stay tuned to hear some really useful insights from him. To get started, you will need to install three dependencies. Dependencies. Git is essential for downloading extensions and updates, FFmpeg helps avoid certain errors, and 7-zip is used to extract archives. After that, look for the ConfiUI download link that matches your operating system. If you're on Windows, simply right-click here and choose Save As, choose a destination, and hit Save. Once you've downloaded the file, use 7-zip to extract it. Open the extracted folder and navigate to ConfiUI, Custom Nodes, this is where we will download all the necessary extensions. To do this, select the entire file path, type cmd, and hit enter to open the command prompt box. Now go back to the guides and copy these four commands one by one. The first command is used to download the main animate diff extension. Paste that over here and hit enter to download the node. Repeat the same steps for the remaining commands to download the Comfy UI manager the advanced control net and video helper suit. Now I plan to add an upscaling node. You can find this in the description box. Copy the link, go back to the command box, type git space clone, paste the link and hit enter to download. Make sure you have successfully downloaded all the extensions, then go back to the main comfy UI folder and open the run Nvidia GPU file to launch comfy UI on your browser. Now we still have a few more things to set up. Let's open the manager and then click on install custom nodes. Here, search for auxiliary preprocessors and install this extension. Next, search for fizz nodes and click on install. Once the download is complete, you can close the installation window as well as the Comfy UI tab and the command window. Now let's talk about the AI models that can give your animations a certain look. I've had great results with models like Dream Shaper, Art Universe and RPG Artist Tools. To get the model, right click on the download button and choose Save As. Then go to the Comfy UI folder, navigate to Models, Checkpoints, and place the models right there. For slightly better results, you can also download the VAE model. Make sure you get the Safe Tensors version and place it under Models inside the VAE folder. Next, in the installation guide, you can find links to two different animation modules that are necessary when running Animate Diff. Go to Comfy UI, Custom Nodes, open the Animate Diff node folder, Models, and save the modules over there. The guide also explains how to download ControlNet models. You can go ahead and do that, but these are only needed for video to video or video to animation, which I will cover in another tutorial. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss it. All right, now that we're done with the installation, let's get to the fun part. Open Comfy UI. This is the default workflow. But of course, we need to make some changes before running Animate Diff. The really cool thing is Inner Reflections has already shared a couple of workflows in the guide, which will make your life a whole lot easier. You know, I'm glad I spent the effort to do this. When you make your first stuff, you want to hoard it all to yourself. You know, I realized that there's a lot more benefit to being, you know, open about it. I mean, that it'd be a shame that you have something so powerful that is locked behind kind of, it's like a little bit janky, right? Getting there, right? But as soon as you get there and as soon as you have one workflow, just truly very creative people are suddenly using it for things that you didn't even think about. We know that, you know, you're the first person guiding them in the right direction. I think that's uh, very rewarding. Yeah. It's fun to be the first, right? That's a crazy thing about AI. You yeah. know, you could be the first person to make a guide to do this. I think that's the most exciting about it, right? You like truly you can do something new. Let's download the workflow number five that is called text to video with prompt travel. Save it anywhere on your computer. Now, all you need to do 
is drag and drop the JSON file that you just downloaded into the Comfy interface to load the workflow. This is already a great workflow to start with, but I've made some tweaks and created my own version for today's video. So go ahead and download it, then simply load it into Comfy UI. And as you can see, the difference here is that my workflow includes an upscaling node, which will give you a much higher quality animation. And now we can start tweaking the settings. Here, you can choose the number of animation frames you want to generate. In this example, I will go with 425 frames. Next, you can change the width and height to your liking. I found that using one of these dimensions works best. The highest I could go without getting distorted results is 512 by 768. So I'm using 512 by 768. It works great. But anything higher than that, it just generates multiple subjects. It's a model issue. Generate lower and then upscale um, however you want from there. Although it may be very low by today's standards, but I will show you how to upscale and improve the quality in just a minute. Now it's time to choose a checkpoint model. I will go with RPG Artist Tools. For the motion module, let's stick with the default V1.5 V2. The prompt scheduler is actually quite simple to understand. By scheduling different prompts, we can achieve a change over time in our animation. By default, the AI will generate the initial prompt at frame 0, and then at frame 30, it will generate the next prompt, and so on. You have the freedom to replace these default prompts with your own creative ideas to make your animation more personal. If you're unsure or struggling with writing prompts, I have a helpful video that you can check out before moving forward. You can set the max frames to be the same as your frames value, clear the default pretext, and use this setting to automatically automatically add keywords at the beginning of each prompt. In my case, I'm using it to describe things like camera angles to maintain consistency across prompts. Same goes for app text, except that this is used to add keywords to the end of each prompt. And I usually add prompts that are meant to enhance the overall quality of my output. You can also use the negative prompts box to specify what you don't want to see in your animation. Now let's move on to the K-Sampler node. You can play around with different values here, but I found a combination that works really well. Set the steps to 30. The CFG scale determines how closely the AI should follow your prompt. I'm going to set mine to 7.5, but you can go lower if you want to give the AI more creative freedom. Lastly, set the sampler to dpmm 2 msde and the scheduler to Keras. Next, you can set the seed to random if you want to get a noticeably different output each time. This second case sampler node will work on upscaling your animation. It's pretty straightforward and you can use the same settings from the previous case sampler node. However, I recommend setting the denoise strength to 0.5 or 0.6 to prevent drastically different results after upscaling. You can increase the upscaling ratio, but keep in mind that the process can become really slow. For now, I will leave mine at 1.5 as I plan to enhance this further later on using a much faster tool. We're almost done with the settings and all that's left to do is set your frame rate in the animate div combine node. I'm gonna set mine to 10. Personally, I prefer using the WebP format because it provides higher quality. You can simply use the exact same settings in the combine upscale node and that's pretty much it. At this point, you can go ahead and click on Q prompt and the AI should start doing its magic. The generative process might take a while depending on your settings, but if you've done everything right and input the correct settings, anime diff will generate a stunning animation for you. If you really think you've hit a true you know, bug, which you can, people have. The anime diff discord, their developers, they're pretty responsive. To what I personally do when I've run into errors, I would go on discord, I use the search box and type in the error there. And usually that is someone has asked about that already, someone from the community would respond to them. And there's a support channel. If you have a question, look for that support channel. If you don't like the output, you can simply Simply open the queue, cancel the current run, and generate a new animation. Once you're happy with it, let the upscaler run to get a much higher quality output, which I'm about to upscale even higher. To find the animation files, go to Comfy UI and open the output folder and you will find all your animations there. Before you upscale the animation, you will need to convert it to MP4. For that, I'm going to use Easy GIF. Just select your animation file, click upload 
and then start the conversion by clicking here. Once it's done, click on save to download the mp4 file. Next, import the video into Topaz Video AI, which is a very popular upscaling software. Let's set the upscaling ratio to 2 and then scroll down to change the upscaling model. My go-to choices for AI animations are either Artemis or Iris. If you want, you can also change the file format. And finally, click on export. The upscaled output will be saved right next to your animation. And as you can see, Topaz Video AI did an incredible job at sharpening the animation and enhancing its details. And now we have a video that looks 10 times better. I'm really excited to see what you guys create with Animate Diff so be sure to share your animations with me on instagram or discord if i were to encourage any of the people to make things this abstract stuff it's actually really good at and what it doesn't suffer from that we humans do is writer's block you say make this even if it makes something really bad it will make something it's right. amazing that we have a tool that you can use free to do what you want it to do right?